This video compares the application of GPR and Pulse Echo technology. The test block we're going to use has reinforcement only in the upper half. We begin by performing scans in the lower half of the test block where there is no reinforcement. The Pulse Echo scanning uses a special calibrated tape and AI enabled camera recognition software that allows for precise placing and stitching of the individual images. As you can see, it's possible to move back and rescan over an area where you may have missed something. Now we have the data, we can optimize the images and compare them. As you can see, the images are fairly similar. The V-shaped back wall has been detected by both. The maximum depth is 55 centimeters, and this is no mean feat for concrete GPR. And both instruments have detected the honeycomb. Now we'll see what happens when rebars are introduced. This time we scan in the upper part of the block. It looks like the guy at the bottom is getting a bit quicker, but he still can't beat GPR for scanning speed. Once again, we can clean up the images using post-processing and compare. As you can see, the images look very different. With GPR, the back wall is not so clear. With the pulse echo, it's very clear on the left-hand side, but the shadowing of the back wall on the right-hand side. The GPR has mapped out the rebars very clearly. They're not so visible with the pulse echo, but the pulse echo has detected honeycombing beyond the rebar layer.